Um, I am an artist. I'm particularly interested in paintings, drawings, um, photography. At the moment, I'm really focusing on trying to blend the line between photography and painting. When I was in kindergarten, I started, I was really jealous of a friend of mine who was selling like polished rocks at the farmer's market. And I was like, I want to sell rocks at the farmer's market. And my mom was like, no, he's selling rocks to the farmer's market. You can't do that too. You have to do something else. And so I started to like sell my drawings and paintings there and have kind of continued um, doing that sort of thing ever since. Like I, I feel the need to somehow create visual things all the time. And if I don't, something feels missing. One of my, my particular favorite pieces that I've done would be um, actually the painting that I created as my figure drawing final last semester. And it became a piece where I was kind of focusing on the experience of or kind of the feelings around queer love and um, kind of exploring the whole, it's like beautiful and comforting, but also it's very uncomfortable because there's always this sense of like needing to hide even though you don't want to. And so I kind of tried to express that in the way that the figures in that piece are kind of sitting there holding each other and like how they're, like the positioning of their bodies is both very uncomfortable, but it's also very loving. Yeah, most of the stuff is actually from that class as well. Um, that guy, we were just kind of exploring um, figure distortion and I hadn't touched oil pastels in like a million years and found some hidden in the back of a like bin I had in my room. So I decided I'd mess around with those and that was fun no one's good or bad at art inherently. And so just, you know, just make it, just do it, just draw, just doodle and look back on work you did two years ago and realize like, look at that improvement that you've done over time.